Welcome to the Character Chronicles, the people show. Checking the post of Rescue Nation brought to you by X Cancer. Check them out at xcancer.com today. I am joined by Husker team captain, Mr. Nick Henrich. How you doing, my friend? Doing good. How you doing, boss? I'm doing good, man. The defense has been playing well. You can see the noticeable improvements, the improvement in play, especially in the second half, particular areas since the bye week, the past couple of games. Obviously led to a couple of W's. That always helps. Why do you think the defense has improved so much in their play the last couple of weeks since that bye week? Yeah, I mean, I think that week just kind of really allowed us to reset and kind of, you know what I mean, keep meshing as a as a unit. We had a lot of new guys playing that, I mean, it takes time to get used to playing with each other, you know what I mean? So I think that bye week was huge just to kind of hit a reset button and for us to just really shift our mentality and realize we still have everything we want to do in front of us. What's it been like playing for a guy like Bill, that Bill Bush, it had to be an interesting scenario. He's the special teams coordinator. Your defensive coordinator gets let go. Now he's running the defense. You know, my first thought was, well, how much does he know about the defense? You know, how quickly can he learn it? What's he going to change and how does he teach him? I mean, that was immediately my thought, you know, because he's obviously mm-hmm. been focused on special teams. So how was that whole dynamic when that change was made and, and how it's progressed yeah. the past couple of weeks? Yeah, that was uh, it was a really smooth uh, transition, honestly. Uh, obviously, it helped a lot that we've uh, most of us had worked with Coach Bush before uh, special teams, so we kind of knew how he operated and what he expected out of us. And then uh, defensively, I mean, he's we all kind of also knew that he was a super, super smart guy, just how he uh, handled special teams. And obviously, we worked with uh, the LSU defense a lot, so we knew he had a defensive background. So, yeah, I mean, he's done uh, – a really good job keeping everyone on the same page and uh, stepping up in that role. What, what's probably the single biggest change that he's made since he's become the D coordinator? I'm sure there's multiple ones, but is there one that sticks out to you the most? Yeah, I think it's just the defense feels a lot uh, simpler right now, uh, which makes it easier to play fast. And uh, I'd say he also does a great job of uh, making adjustments uh, throughout the game. Yeah, you can definitely see that, especially in the second half of games. Now, some of the yeah. things, I mean, let's talk about the second halves, because all of a sudden we've become like a fourth quarter team more so than we've been in quite a while. And you haven't given up any points in the second half, third or fourth quarters versus Indiana or Rutgers. What do you mostly attribute that to? Is it to the adjustments or w- what other reasons is there as well? Yeah, I mean, it's to the adjustments. And I think uh, – as a you know, we're just doing a good job, just taking it one drive at a time. You know what I mean? Uh, well, they like they scored the first drive, and we came off the field, made adjustments, and you know what I mean, went back out there and played a pretty solid game from there. So I mean, it's just about taking one drive at a time, and I think we're doing a good job when we come off the field, making the adjustments, and going on to the next drive right away. All right, let's talk about this whole tackling thing. How different has the approach to tackling and and getting better at tackling, how much has that changed in practice in these past few recent weeks? Yeah, there's definitely been a huge emphasis on it, obviously. I mean, it's it's hard because it's a fine balance where you don't want to, like, you know, hurt your teammates in practice, but you still want to get the good work in. So I think uh, Coach Joseph and the defensive staff have really – done a great job emphasizing that while still you know keeping players as healthy as can be at this point in the year so i would imagine i know you guys are practicing tuesday wednesday all right uh thursday friday then you got the saturday walkthrough i'm sorry you got friday walkthrough and then you got the game saturday so i would imagine you're in pads tuesday wednesday thursday is probably non-padded more of a speedier type practice correct me if i'm wrong so what Mm -hmm. days are you going live and doing these live tackling drills yeah, I mean, Tuesday, Wednesday are the, the meat grinder days, I guess, where you really got to bring the lunch pail and come ready to go up. Yeah, Thursday is obviously not as much uh, live because you want to kind of start dialing it down and uh, getting your body prepared for the game. And obviously Friday is none, but uh, Tuesday, Wednesday is where most of those uh, reps take place. Do you feel like it's... I don't know how to put it. I'm just going to say it. Callous the team up physically and made them tougher mentally not just from a tackling aspect, but just from a physicality and impact, a a violence standpoint, have you noticed an improvement there? Yeah. I mean, I think it's been uh, evident with uh, how we played, I'd say. So yeah, I definitely agree. I think, uh, you know, even through the season, I get, you gotta 
stay healthy and everyone's kind of dealing with injuries. But I think you, uh, that's something that we need to keep doing and we will keep doing. You guys have had six sacks in the past couple of games. What do you attribute being able to get after the quarterback and get more pressure on a qu- opposing quarterbacks to? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, we've done a good job in coverage, which has allowed those guys to rush a little longer and seen a lot more true drop back these past couple of games. So that's let those guys really go free. And uh, yeah, I mean, those guys, they always rush their, rush their, they rush really hard. So it was only a matter of time before those were going to start coming up. You can speak freely if you want. It's okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so what do you attribute the improved uh, coverage on the back end to? What do you think's helped them make improvements there? I think uh, it's just a lot of simplicity and everyone's really on the same page and just kind of, I mean, we can look back and we know exactly what call we're going to get from the secondary at coverage and it just helps. It's helped everyone just be on the same page and play a lot cleaner, I think. Talk to me about a new guy, a freshman. Uh, I don't even know if he would have played that much this year, but Malcolm Hartsog, a guy who's starting, a guy who, you know, freshman mm-hmm. player of the week, who's, who's come in and made an impact returning the block pump for a touchdown, had the INT to seal the game last week, and a guy that they were trying to pick on. And rightfully so, you got to earn your stripes. But talk to me about yeah. a guy like that who all of a sudden gets an opportunity and seems to be capitalizing on it. Yeah, I mean, everyone's been so impressed with uh, Malcolm. Uh, I'd say the thing that's really helped him out the most is his just maturity and his level-headedness like he could get a ball caught on him and go back the next play and make a great PBU you know what I mean so he's always on to the next play and I mean he's came in from day one he's always been a real high effort guy that's always impressed us and yeah I mean I think his just maturity has really uh, helped him uh, be successful this early in his career. So you guys have forced uh, quite a bit of turnovers the past couple of games. It's I don't know. I'm going to let you answer this. I have my theory. But what do you attribute it, being able to force uh, more turnovers the past couple of games to? Yeah, I feel like we've got, I mean, a lot more pressure on the quarterback. And then if the quarterback's pressure, that can kind of lead them to make uh, questionable decisions. And then it's just a matter of uh, capitalizing on those. And if you always got guys around the rock, uh, good things are going to happen. He has been four interceptions over the past couple games in the second halves alone. Uh, Last question for you. So being a team captain this year, dude, obviously, (laughs) tumultuous, up, down, not a boring season, however you want to phrase it. What's it been like while all this is going on and you're one of the leaders of the team? What what kind of role have you taken? What's been your approach to trying to keep this team going in the right direction with all that's gone on this year? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's – definitely not been easy with uh you know all the crazy stuff that's happened frankly at the start of the year and everything that's gone on now uh, I've just been I think the leaders and this whole team has just tried to really just live moment by moment and you know let's not look at the future let's not look at the past let's control what we can control literally like practice okay practice now we got lunch lunch treat you know what I mean just yep. literally just live moment by moment and just continue to do that, and we're going to be all right if we do that. For sure. Controlling the controllables. Yep. Yep. Uh, and the last – actually, I got one more question for you because I know you were banged up. You missed a couple of games, North Dakota, mm-hmm. Georgia, Southern. You've been back out there. How are you health-wise? Are you back to normal? Yes, sir. I'm good. I'm rolling. By the way, for those at home, normal means you're bruised up, beat up. you got a couple of injuries just nobody knows about. But you're able to Absolutely. play. That's what that means. Yep. All right, man. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. And until next time, Husker Nation, go big red. And always remember, Throw the ball, this show man. is brought to you by X Cancer. Join the fight at XCancerStore.com and support your loved ones, your neighbors, and cancer fighters all over the world and help them gain access to revolutionary treatments. XCancerStore.com has a wide variety of t-shirts and merchandise supporting a wide variety of cancer battles so you can show off the colors that matter. Proceeds from each purchase not only help those at home, but also cancer fighters in Tanzania, Africa. Check them out at XCancerStore.com.